Oh my god, guys! I just fi- finished watching NXT Vengeance Day, <laughs> and the exact thing that I, you know, thought would happen uh, ended up happening. Um, and it's been a while since we've seen a big turn like this, especially happening in NXT. Uh, but Carmelo Hayes um, has, you know, turned his back on Trick Williams. Um, after losing um, the NXT Championship match to Dragon Off, um, really good match. Um, the fans were completely behind Trick Williams. I was just surprised at how much. I mean, Trick has really gotten himself over the last several months, the past year or two. Uh, you know, and I, it, I, it was obvious. I, I called it from a mile away when you look at the video package. They've shown where they were saying, you know, Trick wants to be more than a sidekick. And when you look back at it for a while, you know, Trick wasn't really, that's pretty much what he was. When he started off with Carmelo, he was just kind of there with Carmelo. You know, he was wrestling matches here and there, but for the most part, you know, Carmelo was the star. But uh, over time, Trick, um, Trick just really got himself over. And they even reference to the match he had with Dragon Off at NXT Heat Wave, which was a really good match. And that that was the match really where Trick kind of took off uh, when when Dragon Off won that match against him at NXT Heat Wave. And um, you know, and then his his rise really went up when he beat Dominic at No Mercy, only to drop the belt like a week or two later. But um, you know, Trick really over there. I haven't really been keeping up with NXT consistently, you know, like I used to. But um, you know, sometimes I see highlights here and there. I look at it, and I do. I do know that Trick has definitely got himself over with the crowd, especially like with Booger T. You know, chanting his theme song. He would come out commentate on NXT, uh, and that this this was um, this was something, you know, because you know. The fans were fully invested in him. I was just surprised. I thought it'd be more of a mixed crowd, but you know there was some support with Dragon when he first came in. But a lot of Dragon Ball's offense offense was actually getting a lot of boos, and you know Trick was um, you know Trick was really uh, you know he was really in it. And not to mention early in the night, him and Carmelo had already competed for the Dusty Rose Classic in the uh, finals and lost to Braun Breaker. And Barry Corbin, and uh, excuse me, um, Carmelo was the one that took the pin in that match, and um, you know I knew they they were going to lose that, and then this match here, you know, it's not often you see somebody wrestle two matches then lose both matches, but in this case with Trick, you definitely understand it. This was just to set up the the tension even more. You know, to give Carmelo a reason to turn on him. And Carmelo got involved a lot in this match, and that kind of is also what cost Trick this match, him getting in the face of Dragon Off when they, when uh, Dragon Off, uh, him and Dragon Off fell down the ring. It was a beautiful uh, Gyarinagi that Trick Williams hit on Dragon Off to the floor. Dragon Off hit a Death Valley driver. Um, on uh, Trick Williams on the hardest part of the ring on the apron. That looked pretty nasty. Uh, he hit that that uh, fist move he does um, on Carmelo from the, on Trick from the top rope, and uh, Trick actually kicked out, which got a huge pop. When you consider that's actually how he won the title, it took him like three of those to beat Carmelo at No Mercy, uh, you know. And then you know Trick hit him with his finisher, but by that point, uh, you know Carmelo had already knocked the ref. The ref had already been knocked down. They had to get another ref, but when that ref came in the ring, it gave Dragon off enough time to kick out. So it was just a lot of shenanigans at, at that particular point in the match. And, you know, once uh, he looked like he was going to try to hit it again, he uh, Dragon off countered and retained the belt. And, you know, at that point, um, you know, Carmelo just as I expected, turned on a trick. But I, you know, it's one of those stories, you know, we've seen the motif in, in, in WWE and wrestling in general so many times. You know, you get, you got two partners, you got two guys together, and one of them start getting more over, even vice versa with some of the uh, 
women wrestlers eventually, and they're gonna have they're gonna have that one that kind of have that you know where that happens. And obviously, when Trick started getting a little bit more over than Carmelo, it wasn't just his sidekick. You know, you could see the the jealousy uh, with Carmelo. Um, and so even when the attack happened, I knew it was Carmelo because every time it showed his face, how he would look at Trick. Even at deadline when Trick actually won the uh, the match, you know, he scored all those pinfalls at once and he ended up winning the NXT deadline to get this shot to face Dragon off. And the, um, um, the, the name of the match is not coming to my head right now, but... Um, what is the name of the match? It's it's not coming to my head. <laughs> but he won. You know, he won. Um, he scored the most at the end and got this shot. They were supposed to face each other in New Year's Evil, but, you know, because at the time they said Dragon Ball wasn't medically cleared, they pushed it to now. But uh, it was exactly what I expected. You know, I figured Dragon Ball would retain, but it was mostly because of Carmelo. And after the match was over, Carmelo... You know, attacked Trick Williams after being together. You know, for almost three years now. Um, you, you got to you, you start to wonder. You know, Carmelo. He's been wrestling on SmackDown a couple of weeks. You know, with this turn here, um, perhaps this is just you know his his last. Maybe you know because we've been seeing a lot of uh, main roster stars show up on NXT, have a couple of matches and feuds in NXT as of late um, which is kind of why I don't know why they just make it a third round but whatever the case but um, perhaps this is uh, Carmelo's like last major thing he does in NXT uh, before he just you know is exclusively on Smackdown but at this point though I mean if this is <laughs> with how big of this turn was you got to keep him heel in Smackdown at this point like you know because his, his matches he had with Grayson Wall and Austin Theory, he was, you know, still playing like a face, but, you know, you got to have him stay as a heel at this particular point in the game, which is really what Carmelo and Trick was in the first place when they first, um, you know, burst on the scene together. As a matter of fact, Carmelo, so Carmelo was a face with Trick, and Trick was just kind of there, um, and he was actually with Carmelo when Carmelo won the Breakouts Tournament because um, he beat um, Odyssey Jones, which we have not seen him in, like, forever. He got drafted, I think, to Raw. They just never really used him. But um, he beat him in the finals back in 2021 to win a Breakouts Tournament. And then he actually uh, used that to beat, at the time who used to be known as um, Isaiah Swerve, uh, Swerve Strickland. He beat him, um, you know, to win the North American Championship on SmackDown. No, it was it was on NXT because he was about to head to SmackDown. He had retained his title. I believe it was against uh, Santos Escobar that night. I want to say it was him. And then he, he used it to cash in on him, basically, you know, after the match was over and clocked him with him and won his first North American title. So when you think about the history of Carmelo and Trick, they've been together for quite a while. If you go back to that time when they were still, when they started calling themselves NXT 2.0, you know, he was with him with his first reign as North American champion to his second uh, reign, um, even, you know, when he unified the uh, Cruiserweight belt back when Roger Tron was still with the company, he beat him for it. But for much of that time, though, Trick wasn't really doing any wrestling. But now he does it. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's crazy, you know. But I, I definitely think Trick, though, he's going to be a big star, you know, with all this, uh, you know, because he got that same reaction when he showed up on SmackDown to save Carmelo a week or two ago. Um, so, 
that 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 just says a lot because oftentimes wrestlers from NXT to the main roster they don't usually get the same reaction immediately, but that wasn't the case with Trix. So, like I said, really big moment here. I think we all anticipated this was going to happen. Really good show overall. Um, most of the matches I suspected I kind of figured you know who was going to win. Like I figured Braun and and uh, Baron Corbin, even though Braun just got called, you know called up as well so I'm wondering what Braun you know does this mean him and Baron you know would they win the NXT belts or are they gonna lose it and then you know he just goes straight to uh you know he just goes straight to you know he goes straight to uh what you call it uh raw not raw um well whichever brand he chooses because he doesn't chosen a brand yet it, it, it should be interesting uh, what they what they do with him, um, Braun, um, you know, now that he's coming up, you know, if they're going to still win the belts and maybe do like Dominic did, just go back and forth with the the belts or something. But I don't know. I, I kind of don't see them winning the belts. Uh, but, it, you know, that was a good match to start off the show. Uh, Dijak and Joe Gacy was a really good match. Um, Joe Gacy, of course, was, um, you know, showing his crazy side where every time Dijak tried to do things, he was one step ahead of him. A lot of things took place in that match with the, you know, almost like the Lego toys he put where, you know, he ended up getting uh, Dijak to fall through the table with those on it. Um, you know, um, he had the, the Kindle sticks. At one point, he duct tape Dijak's head Face where he couldn't see and hit him with a bunch of Kindle sticks. So, um, and when he hit him with the feast your eyes, he couldn't even see. And, um, you know, so it was a lot that went down in that match <laughs> that was pretty crazy. But, um, I don't know. Was this the first time Dijak won on a pay per view in a singles match of NXT? It, it definitely feels that way. I could be wrong, but I just don't. It seems like every uh, pay-per-view Dijak has been in NXT, he usually loses, even though he has like a, a really outstanding performance. But a lot of them, he typically, you know, I haven't, I've never really seen him win it. But I could be wrong. You know, I don't really know. Again, I don't really keep up with it. But um, yeah, that's just to kind of skim through the rest of the card, though. Six-person tag match is pretty good with OT, OTM and the. Um, the Don family, um, and, uh, you know, Vicaria and, um, and, uh, Roxanne was pretty good. I figured Roxanne wasn't going to win the belt back, but, you know, that, uh, the, the woman who won the, uh, breakouts for the, she, you know, tried to put her spot in and it kind of backfired. So that, that's what caused it a match. And, of course, and it actually showed them fighting backstage, so she wasn't happy about that. Her name's not coming to me right now. I gotta get her name, but um, but yeah, elsewhere in the show, and then the match with uh, Dragon Lee was pretty good as well with the NXT North American title. I definitely think at this point with Dragon Lee, they're probably gonna, you know, perhaps just have him on SmackDown exclusively after this match. It should be interesting. To see what they do with him, but um. Yeah, I just mainly want to talk about the main event, though. A uh, really good show overall. really enjoyed it, but I just really mainly want to talk about the main event. But that's pretty much it, guys. I'm sorry I'm for this flex. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and um, talk to you guys another day. Peace. I, oh, by the way, I have to say, this crowd uh, really gave it to Carmella with this turn on Trick. You know, and that's how you know somebody's over when they're getting that big of a a, 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 a turn like this. This was something. Um, really looking forward to the feud with this because it's not just the fact he attacked Trick, but he attacked him with the same uh, injury Trick suffered in the match with his leg and kept just hitting him over and over again with a steel chair to the leg. Um, so... That's what made it even more crazy. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So I'm signing off for Invest Flex. I'm talking to you guys. Peace.